Good morning, everyone, and happy gingerbread day from the Contemporary Resort. Today is an extremely exciting day because today Disney invited us out to experience National Gingerbread Day. I am extremely grateful to Disney and for you for being a part of it. I cannot wait to see what today has in store. It's going to be super magical. Let's jump in. Breakfast time here at the Wave of American Flavor. They've got a, an amazing looking buffet here. We can choose a la carte or the buffet, but you know, I'm going for the buffet. Breakfast from the buffet at the wave got eggs smoked salmon deviled eggs bacon sausage oh my gosh it all looks so good breakfast was absolutely delicious smoked salmon deviled eggs it was all super super good we're just getting a little briefing on what's going on today it's going to be a ton of fun i can't wait to experience it all gingerbread house day truly a delicious breakfast at the wave we'll definitely have to try even more in the future big thank you to disney for already the start of a magical day now we're gonna head on upstairs and grab a few pictures of the gingerbread house at the contemporary resort it's super exciting to celebrate great special holidays like National Gingerbread House Day all around Walt Disney World and see what they do for it. Truly a magical gingerbread house at the Contemporary Resort. I love all of the bricks, the hidden Mickeys. There's actually a game where you can play and try and find all of the characters all around and I feel like I've still not found one hidden Mickey. There's one that's still eluding me somewhere on the gingerbread castle and that sugar right there on the bottom. Love it all. Now making our way to the bus to our next gingerbread house destination. It's gonna be so much fun. Going through into the convention center now. I actually don't think I've ever been in here before. Super exciting. New experiences all around the contemporary convention center. Super, super cool. You can see the trees right there. Love it. Very, very cool. I can't believe I've never been in this building. Or at least I can't remember ever being in this building. Today is extremely special. In addition to Gingerbread House Day, we're also trying character couture, which is kind of like a makeup thing where they make you look like a Disney character. It's meant for adults and men are included as well. So I will be going we have to choose our character in advance. You have to dress up in a little way with our favorite character. So I chose for today, Captain America. And you know I've got the shirt for it, so not the jacket, a little bit too warm for that today, but I've got the shirt that kind of goes with it. I can't wait to see what happens. And here's where we're going, the Mirrors bus to take us to our next gingerbread house destination. On the bus now, making our way to our next destination and handed this very cool piece of paper here with information about the gingerbread houses that we are going to see, like Wilderness Lodge and others that are on the Disney Cruise Line, for example. Here's Alani as well, learning about gingerbread and different holiday cheer that they have at different Disney destinations. This is super cool. I love that Haunted Mansion gingerbread house right there. That's one that definitely want to see in person one day. And we've made it to Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort. We're at the Conference Center right now. We're going to experience some of those gingerbread houses. Hard to imagine. I've never been in here before. This is really unbelievable to see. You can see Park Place right here in different salons that we'll be going to later for our character couture adventure. Take a look at this tree right here with the bulbs on it. I love it. That's awesome. To me, the Boardwalk Inn Resort has a very unique smell to it. I, I don't recognize what it is. It's the Boardwalk smell. Good morning to you. And then going inside here, take a look. Wow, I do not remember those wreaths up above. The wreaths here, the trees there, and there is that gingerbread boardwalk hotel. I love it. The boardwalk in gingerbread house is truly one of a kind. Taking a look here, you can see, first of all, all the ingredients right over here. That's a lot of honey, eggs, ammonium carbonate. I wonder what that's used for. Egg whites, powdered sugar, cream of tartar, and more. You get the crest of waves, and I love the detail. You can see every single room, every balcony has a wreath on it. I love that. Moving on to flying fish, you can see the light within, and I love the fact that we're taking the time to really slow down and appreciate it. You can see those uh, planters outside the trees. There's even a small hidden Mickey right on the side of the building. I love it. Trattoria Al Forno's got the popcorn stand right outside. You can see the benches, the lights. You've got chairs, a little fence right there. You can see the uh, gingerbread follows all the way down. Unbelievable and so much frosting. So much frosting. And you've got Mickey and Minnie right up front with all sorts of delicious items right back there with them. There's even a Mickey and Minnie cake, one in white chocolate, one in dark chocolate. I I love it. And you've got more of those chairs right along the front. Unbelievable. So a tree with the uh, the wedding hearts right there at the top. Love, love all the themed trees. And then you've got the gazebo itself. You can see the chairs already 
for the big day. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to see all this and even see hidden Mickeys, small plants, every small minor detail has been attended to here. Now that was just our first stop here at the Epcot Resorts with the boardwalk, but the time is now 1021 and I've got to make my way to those salons, the Boardwalk Convention Center, to get made over into Captain America. I'm really interested to see how this turns out. It's going to be really cool. Back in the convention center now, making my way towards salon five and six. Very excited about this. I've got that Captain America shirt, but I'm wondering if I'm supposed to change into it now or later, still, still figuring that one out. It's called Marvin Gardens. This convention center is just incredible though. I've never, <laughs> never been in here, not once. Promenade East right there. I, I'm not sure who that is, but it's a super cool painting right there. Trees throughout. Mm. There's a spread right here. I'm not too sure if this one is for us, but we're gonna head into Salon 5 now. Just stopped in. They are doing an amazing job with those character couture. I love that. We're gonna have a costume inspired by Captain America. It's important that I correct myself here. I'm looking for a restroom here to change into my uh, shirt, but inspired by Captain America. I am super excited about this. I saw in there while we were getting ready, they're doing both men and women. So it's a character couture for both men and women. That was the thought of mine when I was thinking about it originally, but the knowledge they can make a costume inspired by Captain America, very important. I am super excited how this turns out. It's gonna be fantastic. Little makeup stations right over there and uh, Dev right over there is being made up as a character. I'm not gonna reveal it for him, but it's, it's pretty cool to see it happen. I'm seeing Bells, I'm seeing Jasmine's, I'm seeing Minnie Mouse, I'm seeing Hades. It's impressive, very impressive to say the least. Oh, well, are we ready? I'm ready, I'm ready for the ideas. Thanks to Courtney and OJ, I now really look like Captain America. Super <laughs> impressed. Thank you so much. This is unbelievable talent. Character couture. I am beyond, beyond impressed. See the hair right there? That is, that is awesome. Okay, character couture. I gotta tell you, at first I was wondering, it's like, how are they gonna do men? You know, they, the women, absolutely, makeup, the hair. Uh, come on, come, really? I mean. This is incredible. That is incredible. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to try this today. This is amazing. I am honored that we were invited to share in the magic today and do the character couture makeup. I'm super excited about it. More gingerbread houses to go, but I love it. Great job, Disney. Great, great job. Wow. Now I'm thinking to myself, you know, I love Michelle doing the makeup. She does an amazing job and mom can do great makeup, but let's say in the future we have a Halloween party and there's no mom and no Michelle to do the makeup. Honestly, t considering what just happened and how this looks, I'm gonna go to character couture. I'm not kidding. I would, I would tell you, but this is amazing. I'm just walking by like, what? This is incredible. Okay, now we're gonna quickly make our way to the Yacht and Beach Club Resort to take a look at those gingerbread displays. Then we're gonna go to the Skyliner Station to check out the one, the only. We're gonna be some of the first guests in the Riviera. It's gotta be amazing. Let's head over there. I just realized the problem that I have run into. I can't put my glasses on because I don't want to mess all this up. So. No glasses at the moment. Luckily, it's kind of cloudy, so we're in good shape, but let's make our way to Yacht and Beach. Here at the Beach Club Resort, let's check out that gingerbread. Take a look at the gingerbread carousel this year. It looks magical. You can see the Peter Pan horse right there. I love it with all those details and the flute on the back. You've got a Wendy one with the bear, the glasses. You can see the family portrait. There's a hat right there. I love that one. Oh my gosh, behind it, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell horse. That is so creative, so inspiring. I love it. They even got the sewing kit right there near the saddle. That, that is awesome. The wings on there too. Just incredible. Even the, even the hooves. Unbelievable. And then at the end here, you've got a Smee horse. This is an amazing set of horses. I love it. You get the bottles, the champagne bottles, and the whistle right there. Unbelievable. Every single detail so well defined. Even up there at the top, you can see a moon with all the kids flying around it. You can see the cityscape below. I am so impressed. This gingerbread carousel, in my opinion, is one of the best that they've done. We've seen so many good ones over the years. This one is so inspiring. So impressed. I love all of the little details. We could look at it for so long, but I want to check out the little area over there, see the Yacht Club, then we got to make our way super fast to the Skyliner Station. So let's keep moving. I'm loving the small shop here right behind the carousel here. You can see this little bit new 
for this year. Gingerbread right there above, or at least gingerbread looking. You can see all sorts of gifts, those snowman hats that light up the tree right there. Snacks, more of those mugs. Love it all. And they even got the 20th anniversary. Wow, with Minnie Mouse Beach Club. I love it all. Love it all. Now let's make our way to Yacht Club super fast, super fast, because we got to get back to Skyliner. I literally have five minutes to go from here all the way back to the Skyliner. So this is gonna be the quickest, the fastest gingerbread viewing of all time, but we're gonna make it happen. With Captain America like strength and speed, we're gonna make this happen. I always love walking into the Yacht Club, seeing this tree so magical, but what makes it extra magical is the train trail. Take a look, Bayside Marina right there, and there's the train with a tree in the front going around. I love it. I love so many details about this train right here from Anna and Elsa and Arendelle to the gumball machine, Mickey and Minnie skating around. There are so many things to appreciate and enjoy, and even Dumbo, the end of Dumbo's train right over there. Amazing. We'll see it more in the future. He's got a runoff. Don't want to miss that Skyliner trip to the Riviera. Oh my gosh, so exciting. We're some of the very first guests to ever step foot in a brand new resort. Let's go over there now. 11.51 now. Now we should make it. We should make it to the Skyliner station. Yeah. So we gotta keep on moving. Here with Captain America, strength and speed, we're on our way. Sure enough, we made it with time to spare. We're about to make our way to the Riviera and I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am for this brand new resort. Never before seen inside. We're some of the first guests ever to step inside. I'm overjoyed. The moment we've been waiting for, the Riviera Resort for the very first time. The moment of truth, the moment we have all been waiting for, the Riviera Resort, and the RR of Riviera is lit up right now. I cannot wait to see it. I have a feeling it's just the lobby today, but the excitement for a brand new resort, it's palpable. It's its its America. It's, it's super America. That should be an excitement level. I'm Captain America excited. There you go. Let's head on in there. Walking onto the overhang right here, you can see it takes us all the way to the entrance. Riviera working cast only. We're getting a very, very special preview. Da, 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 da. As we're walking into the Riviera Resort, this is amazing. Let's take a quick look as we make our way through. Now, we have been told not to film any of the areas that are under construction right now, but we can show you things that are done, like this. I am so excited about this. Take a look. You can see this amazing Peter Pan mosaic. It goes all the way up. You can see blue across. They're flying up there, and it goes over here. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Here's another mosaic right over here, and this one is Rapunzel. I love the small stones right there. You can see it's actually made of small little stones all the way up and across. And you can see the lanterns above you. That is absolutely incredible. The castle right over there where the lanterns are all around. I'm impressed beyond words. Beyond words. I don't think anyone saw this part coming. Truly an incredible experience to see this firsthand. I love the, I'm going to call this the 180 mosaic with unbelievable walls. And just think, just think about how much time it took to put these together. The final touches right on there. So impressed. Wow. And there's a walkway up above. I can't wait to see it all. Walking down the hallways here for the very first time, you can smell the carpet is brand new. Everything around us is just finished. They are still laying some of the tiles down. I'm impressed. Impressed beyond words. The artwork, the hallways, the feel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going to have so much fun with this. Take a look. There's a hidden Mickey right down there. That is so cool. Apparently, apparently. I'm told by a very kind friend and cast member that there are, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Look at this artwork on the wall right here. That is fantastic. Oh Oh my gosh, wow. Making our way on the second floor right now towards what I believe is the lobby. Oh my gosh, here we go. Absolutely amazing. You can see the check-in desk right over there. You've got your rings right above. I love that. What a cool look right here. A nice, nice looking balcony right over here. We're going to experience it all. We will experience it all. If not today, another day, but I guarantee this is unbelievable to see. Got the chairs right there. A great feel, a great welcoming feel. You got books or right along the tables to read as you're here. Cast members standing by. You can see the cafe is all set for us. Going to be opening in just a few days here. I love it. I love that first-hand look. Sneak peek of things that are happening. There's a mini and Pluto right there in the artwork. I love it. And La Boutique right over here. They've got some amazing items in here. You can see there are some cast members and fellow media goers here looking at some of those special items that are just for the Riviera. They've already got all their merchandise, shirts, hats, picture frames, sandals, everything you can imagine. Wow. Home for the holidays. I love it. Disney Vacation Club right there with the snow. Truly spectacular to see. I love the artwork of the Riviera and the princess frames. You see them all over, but they are spectacular to see. I love this three-dimensional text 
right here on these shirts, the hats. I mean, they're incredible, just incredible. Just picked up a Riviera Resort hat. We have it for opening day, I'm so excited. Oh, I love it, I love it so much. You can see the rings right there, the wreaths ready for us outside. You can see they're getting ready for everyone. They've got that stone walkway. I'll find out if we can go out there in just a minute. But this is an incredible resort. Right off the bat, I can tell you, very relaxing, tranquil feel. Not as much of that Disney you know, immediately as you walk in, but as soon as you start to look around, you can notice the subtle details, like the pictures of the princesses. You can see hidden Mickeys all throughout. So it, it's it's subtle Mickey. It is subtler Mickey, but he's still there. It's still around. Even something as classic as the Disney Cruise Line ships, so you, you have to kind of look, you have to look for the Mickeys. You have to look for the Disney, but it's all over. It is all over. So you can feel that upscale vibe with the Disney. I love it. How are you? You're at Topolina Terrace right here. We're taking a look at Topolina Terrace right here. The brand new restaurant on top of the Riviera Resort. Look at those. The chandeliers are so familiar. They look just like the ones that you can find at Enchanted Rose. I love it. This is where you'll find that character breakfast. A little bit later, you can see the bar right over there. This is magical. Truly, truly magical to see. You've got, again, those uh, chandeliers above, and you can see, oh my gosh, look outside this window. Oh, we're going out on the balcony. Okay, but you can see, look at that. Look, just look at that, truly outstanding. I love it, and the view of the Skyliner gondola is breathtaking. Let's go outside. Let's make our way out onto the balcony right now and see what we can see. We're outside right now and take a look at this view, one of a kind for sure. You can see the Riviera right over there in all of its beauty. You can see this blue, orange, different colors all around with that gray. So I like kind of the color kind of with the gray. It's really, really cool. The pool right down there and the view. The view is hypnotic, Hi hypnotic to say the least. You've got the Skyliner gondola cars running right over there and it goes all the way around. Oh my gosh, we gotta see the whole view. It continues around where you can see not only the Caribbean Beach Resort and more resorts over there, you can see, I'm pretty sure, hold on, let me double check here. Yep, you can see all four parks from this spot. There is a stationary spot where you can see all four parks. You've got Animal Kingdom way out there. Hollywood Studios in two spots, Tower of Terror and Black Spire Outpost. You can see Epcot with more of the Land and Seas Pavilion. And well beyond, you can see Magic Kingdom. After the balcony, we're making our way back down to level two for a minivan to lunch. I gotta tell you, I'm so impressed. I, I feel a different way. I was thinking about how I feel in this moment. Look at the brick underneath my feet, by the way, it's amazing. I feel like I'm in Italy almost. I'm in Italy, I'm in an Italian diner. I'm, I'm just, you know, being casual, but also having fun. You know, it's, I can see the formality to it. There's a little bit of a formal part to it. You can feel that, but there's also a very fun, casual appearance. I cannot wait, I cannot wait for the characters. And apparently they'll be in new outfits for breakfast. We've already got breakfast reservations, so I'm so excited about that. Making our way down now, take a look. Even the elevator lobby has got that theming of the, I'm gonna call it the Italian, a great Italian Mediterranean feel here. Amazing. Take a look, they've got a touch screen right here so you can see exactly where you are at the Riviera so you're never lost. I love it. Making our way out now to those minivans for lunch. Headed into Wilderness Lodge right now. We're going to Whispering Canyon Cafe. Thank you, Disney. This is gonna be so much fun. I love the tree at Wilderness Lodge. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're seeing it this year. Super cool. I love the little uh, teepees. You can see they're all lit up all around the tree. Fantastic. We're heading in to have a whispering good time. Whispering. Headed in right now. Take a look at the holiday decor. You can see those wreaths up above. I love it. Sure enough, they brought us the skillet with chicken, ribs, mashed potatoes, corn, green beans. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's dig in. We need ketchup. We need ketchup. That was a delicious lunch. I really like the mashed potatoes and those sweet potatoes. The grilled sweet potatoes tasted super, super good. Now we're on for dessert and I'm not sure what it is, but I'm super excited about it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks absolutely incredible. You can see the blue Mickey right there on the top. I love it. Both of these desserts look absolutely incredible. You've got that glass right there with the boot. I love it. The cowboy boot. And you've got the six layer chocolate cake. Let's dig in. This is amazing. All right, six layer chocolate cake. Oh my gosh, super rich, super rich. Very intense chocolate. Super, super intense. But if you love chocolate, you will love this one. 
Oh my gosh. It's a dark chocolate. There's a, there's a dark chocolate in there. It's like a ganache right in between. I love it. Tried the ice cream boot as well. It's got strawberries in there. They're real strawberries and it tastes fantastic. Overall, an amazing meal here at Whispering Canyon. My favorite item by far, the chocolate cake. Rich, dense, deep chocolate cake. I love that one. Yum. Definitely will come back again in the future. You can see the shop right here up front and the gingerbread right back there. Oh, they're doing samples. I'm super full though, so I, I don't know if I could eat a sample. I, only if they have like a lot of extras, but super full from lunch. The gingerbread house though by itself is fantastic. Love the little window up there. The gingerbread slices on top look super shiny. It's like it's been recently snowed on. I love it. The wreath on the side with the Mickey right over there. You can see the bear holding up those lights right there and the shopping up front again looks amazing. I was convinced by friends to try the gingerbread man just a taste but I have a taste. I have to admit that's fantastic. Really really good gingerbread. I like it a lot. I'm really impressed by it. Wow. Making our way to our next destination via another bus on our way. And we've made it to the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. We're heading into the convention center side to make our way to see that gingerbread house. These convention centers are just more and more amazing. I've never seen these. I've never walked in here before. Even up above, look at the balloon, the Mickey balloon up there. That's fantastic. Grand Floridian ballroom. Unbelievable. I've never seen this before. Take a look at the wreaths above as we make our way into the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. As we walk in, you can see the Christmas trees right here, and they are decorated absolutely beautifully, and they kind of match. You can see the ones over here match the big Christmas tree right there in the middle of the lobby. Let's take a look closer look at all of them. You can see all sorts of small details from the birds in the cages right there. The Christmas bulbs, love that. You've got the flowers, all sorts of flowers all around. More of those and then as you make your way up you can see more bulbs and more flowers. Even like some uh, frozen, you can see actually a frozen snowflake right there. Kind of looks like it's made of possibly glass. Very, very cool. And turning this way there is that larger than life center tree. Taking a look at the larger than life Christmas. Christmas tree right there. I always love the Grand Floridian Christmas tree. Those swans never get old. You can see them with necks wrapped around each other. Goes all the way up to the ceiling there. Truly an incredible experience all around. And the tree is so large. It's so, so large. Oh my gosh. Now for the piece de resistance, the gingerbread house itself. And it is truly magnificent. Let's take some time now to look at some of those closer details. I personally love the Grand Floridian gingerbread house. It is so unique. Been here since 1999. And what's really cool is they actually serve food inside of the gingerbread house. Super cool. Snowman donuts, white chocolate covered cookie, sandwich pop, and more. And you can actually scan this QR code right here to see the current menu. Wow. Taking a closer look at the gingerbread house now, it is amazing what they do every single year. The poinsettias by the fence near the entrance. So cool. All of the window frames have little mice right by them. You can see Aurora. Amazing. Love the snowy look everywhere. The candy canes all around. The snow covered gingerbread on the top. You have a tree with lights there. Even on the balcony area, you can see small miniatures, snowmen, small figures. There's one with lights on it and one that I missed before, one small figure with moving parts. There's actually sledders on it, skiers on it. Amazing. Here's another look at the shopping area here where you actually get in line here and then do the shopping right there. They have a lot of great goodies all the time. You can see that area right there is open and there are presents inside there. Really cool to see. The best way to see that though is to actually go upstairs. Let's go upstairs now and get a kind of top down view of it. As we're making our way up the stairs, you can see the decorations are all around. The garland everywhere with the lights. I love it. I love it. Looking at the gingerbread from the top down, you can see that open concept where you can see the cast members moving around, helping guests find the best treat for them. I love it. The presents on top with Cosmo, Chris, John, Debbie. I love that. More of the snow frosted gingerbread, making those tiles up. And you can see they are constantly having a lot of fun. There's more of those uh, toys we can see more on the balcony from this upper angle here. So, so cool. Overall, a super festive feel. Headed into Enchanted Rose. Apparently, we're trying some, I'm guessing, of the drinks here. We're going to find out together. Watch that for about 24 hours because love does take a little time to start. <laughs> hmm. Green Thank you. Woo. 
from Enchanted Rose, we are trying the love, what we call it potion, but it's just the love drink. It has several different alcoholic items in there. You know, I don't drink that much, but I wanted to give it a try because it's here, so we're gonna try it together. That is a great flavor. Again, I do not drink alcohol that much at all, but it has Grey Goose Vodka, Pavon Liqueur de France, Pear, Lemon, Twinings, London, Chamomile Tea, Agave, and Rose Petal on top. Very impressed, very, very impressed. It's a sweeter alcohol. It's sweeter, you have to enjoy that. But again, as someone who does not drink that much, I really don't, it's uh, it's really good. In addition to the love potion, and again, not having too, too much, I am trying the Envy here, which I hear from my friend Josh of WW Couple is very good. I'll give it a try, I got an apple slice right in there. A much stronger drink, much, much stronger. If you like stronger drinks, if you like that kind of you know, very subtle apple in there, you are going to love that one. Between the two, I do choose the Love Potion. Again, calling it the Love Potion, but it is called Love. The name of the drink is Love. Much more of a fruity flavor in there and much sweeter. So between the two, I choose the Love one. But honestly, I, I can see why they picked these two. They're both extremely good drinks. You definitely want to try these if you like alcoholic beverages at Disney. Awesome experience. Glad to be the opportunity to try a few of the drinks at Enchanted Rose. Now on to our next magical destination. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're headed on the bus. We made our way into French Quarter right now. We're going to stop at Scat Cats Club for some beignets. Just had to check the schedule again. Oh, I love it. I love today. Disney, thank you again. This is awesome. I'm having the best time. Here we are at Port Orleans French Quarter. We're here for beignets and to find a new Instagram wall. That's going to be fun. Such a cool experience to be back here with no one here. <laughs> very, very cool. You can see the blinds right there, kind of that older Port Orleans style. You can see this is where they kind of have maybe music or possibly a show, maybe a musician. Tough to know, but very cool. Just heard from our very kind friends at Disney that there is a jazz player who plays here every single night, 8 p.m. to close. So if you want to get a little bit of jazz music, relax, drink in hand, and a beignet in hand, you can come to Scat Cats Club. So we'll definitely have to experience that later. They mentioned that there may be someone coming out to entertain us for a little bit, that we're gonna get beignets, there's another cocktail coming around, and I believe there might be some food as well, but we'll experience that in just a bit. I'm so excited and so grateful to you for being a part of it. This is amazing. I told Justin I was looking for the sweetest drink that they have here at Scat Cats. He said blue glotini, that's where we wanna go. So I'm trusting Justin with this drink. We're gonna try that, and the beignets, and and the chicken waffles gonna be super good scat cats club super excited from scat cats club we are trying the chicken and waffles usually it comes in a cone but now we've got one kind of a piece of it and i'm super excited to try it bon appetit all right that's really good that is very very good not a spicy chicken but it's got a it's got a hint of something to it delicious chicken the waffle it's like you can't really tell that it's waffle until you get that residual taste very tender very very tender and i love that flavor the flavor really makes this one in my opinion it is really really good i really do want to try the one with the whole cone now now that i've tried this i'm thinking to myself i want to try the one with the whole cone because in my opinion this is one of the best chicken items that i've had at disney in a long time like in recent memory because this is really really good super impressed from scat cats club we are trying the blue glotini right there this looks really good thanks to the suggestion of justin our server cheers that is a super sweet drink <laughs> i asked him for the sweetest drink he had it just tastes like you're drinking sugar i do not even taste the alcohol in there which is something to be aware of just something to watch out for but there's, i think that's not salt i think it's sugar around the edge there and it is really good it's real if you love sugary drinks there you go blue glow teeny and one of my favorites the mickey bed yes from scat cat club no we gotta try it you can tell it's just out of the fryer it's super hot bon appetit i'm telling you you gotta have them hot hot is the way to go the raspberry sauce would be amazing, but a hot beignet, I'll never turn it down. So, so good. Leaving Scat Cat Club right now on our way to Coronado Springs and Grand Destino Tower, where we're going to have a bit of dinner. More gingerbread as well, but there's dinner as well. This is amazing. Almost made our way to Grand Destino Tower, where we're going back to Toledo. I'm looking forward to trying something new on the menu. It's going to be magical. Here we are at Grand Destino Tower at Coronado Springs Resort. Cannot wait to try Toledo and take a look. You can see a bell right up there for the holidays. I love it. It looks like it's ringing. You can see it swinging back and forth. It's like it's ringing to welcome us in. That's so cool. Speaking of Instagram worthy walls right here. Awesome one with 
with the lanterns there. Love it. Take a look over here. This is an area of concierge that, you know, I've seen it before, but I've never seen it glowing with the colors before. So for the holidays, they have the red and green. And it's not just here. It's not just over here. They have it throughout. So you can see the Christmas tree right down there. We're gonna take a quick look at that. But they have the red and greens kind of through the walls. That's awesome. This lobby is unbelievable. You can see the tree right there in the middle between those chandeliers. Fantastic to see. You can see kind of an orange glow by this table right over here where you can get a seat. I love it. We're making our way up now to Toledo. Toledo, let's go eat. Making our way back up to Toledo and I love the views that you get up here. The lounge is open too, so we might have to go back over there as soon. You can tell it's been raining quite a bit. The views out there are a little bit on the foggy side. You can see them over there, but you know what's not? The ceiling. Look at this. Pink, pink to red to orange to yellow. It's just uh, the ceiling is what you really come for here. This is this is fantastic. Arrived at Toledo and they've got the tapas salad and we get to pick an entree, the steak, grouper, chicken, or seafood. And the dessert is the daily selection from our pastry chef. So that's gonna be super exciting. We also have beverages like coffee, fountain drinks, all sorts of good stuff. Looks amazing, time to dig in. That sounds delicious. There are a lot of delicious sounding items here that I can't remember the name of, but yum. Yeah. Style of tapas that are pinchos. They're specific, uh, originated in the Basque region of Spain. Pretty much like a bite-sized tapas. Uh, so we got a couple here, these are called tortillas. Espanola. This is like a Spanish uh, potato omelet wrapped in a jamón serrano cured ham and then topped with an olive tapenade there. These are a poached tuna. So it's a, a tuna that's pushed to medium rare in olive oil and then we spread a little ramp or green onion aioli sauce on top of the bread for that one. Then uh, in the middle here, a little baldeon Spanish blue cheese melted on the sourdough bread, uh, some date jam as well as some honey drizzled over there. Uh, and then on the end we have some of our pan con tomato. It's sourdough bread with a pan con tomato, which is almost like a, a Spanish bruschetta or tomato puree spread on top of it. Thank you so much for that explanation. Yeah. Appreciate that. Okay, I have one of everything that we have here. I'm going to start with the tuna because I know what that one is. They're hard to keep track of what is what. I'm going to bite the tuna first, let you know how it is. The tuna is really, really good. I like it a lot. There's a lot of flavor to it. It's, it's just like, it hits you all at once. There's a little bit of olive in there. You can taste kind of that cheese sauce in there. The tuna flavor is not as strong as you would think. You think the tuna is the strongest taste. It's almost like a like the olive is the strongest taste. Next up, we have the blue cheese item right here. Looks super, super good. Bon appetit. A very strong blue cheese, cheese taste with a fig jam. Makes it really, really good. So you get this really like, almost like sour, like the blue cheese taste, but you also get that fig, which is the sweetness to it. I love this one. I think so far, this one is my favorite, the blue cheese. You get the wild mix of flavors there. We got that big piece of toast right there with the red sauce on top, looks really good. Almost like a bruschetta. Not bad at all. I like the tomato on top. It feels like it could use a little bit of cheese on top of that, but so far the fig and the uh, the jam is my favorite. Last up, we've got the uh, the log one. I think it's like a tortilla, something like that. Looks really good. Wrapped in bacon and everything, super good. I think I'm gonna order them in terms of the blue cheese first, then the salmon then the bacon wrapped tortilla one, and then the uh, piece of bread with the you know, bruschetta on top, and most the sauce on top. Really good. All of them are very good, but I think the fig, the fig one with the blue cheese, that's the one that I would get. Really good. Blue cheese one, extremely good. You have to love blue cheese though, because the taste of blue cheese sticks with you. Love the sweetness to it, but it sticks with you. You have to enjoy that. If you do, you are going to love this. Otherwise, I actually would avoid it because it's strong. Okay, now we have the salad from Toledo, and I saw that there's supposed to be an egg right on top. I don't, oh, there it is. There's an egg right there with the salad. That looks super good. Let's take a lot of it here and try it together. Bon appetit. It's a little bit on the fishy side, yeah. almost to a bitter, almost to a point where it's a little bit bitter. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I just wouldn't recommend it. It's not my kind of thing. I would stick with those uh, tapas items. So the, the salmon, blue cheese one, oh, so good. But the salad, I would skip that. From Toledo, we are trying the chicken. And it looks really good. It's a large plate, large portion, and it's got those chips on top. Looks absolutely delicious. Let's give it a try together. Really good, really, really good. I feel like it, you could use some sauce. Some other sauce, I'm kind of like gonna move around the plate a little bit and try and find some other sauce with this chicken. It's kind of this um, rice with some sauce on it at the bottom. I'm gonna combine that with a piece of chicken and try it. Not bad, not bad at all. Not my favorite chicken dish at Walt Disney World by any means, but definitely much better than the steak that I had here before. But the rice by itself, 
also extremely good. So the chicken dish here, definitely can recommend this one. Absolutely, really like it. The most similar thing I can compare it to is kind of like a French creme brulee in the sense that it is a custardy base with a sugar torch top, but it's infused with Valencia oranges. So great citrus flavor. The other one is gonna be a sampling of our Toledo tapas bar, Thank which you. is our signature dessert. The base of it is kind of like a cross between a chocolate cake and a crunch bar. It's covered in a beautiful chocolate ganache and has different flavored creams going down the base. So here you'll see a raspberry cream, a lemon curd, and a cheesecake. The desserts look absolutely fantastic. Really good to hear all about them. We're gonna try that creme brulee first. It looks amazing. It's a really good sweet taste to that creme brulee. I really like that one. I'm gonna try some of that chocolate bar right here with a little bit of that white chocolate or other item right there. Bon appetit. That is very, very strong. Strong, but honestly, that is a fantastic dessert. I love the chocolate cake. It's hard to compare chocolate cakes. We have uh, Whispering Canyon with the chocolate cake there. That was unbelievable. And then this is fantastic as well. Love it all. Between the two, I definitely love this creme brulee. It's very unique, special. One that I can see myself going out of my way to get. The creme brulee, I love it, absolutely love it. I think that is my favorite item for this visit to Toledo, the creme brulee, delicious. Finishing up now, I gotta tell you, this was an incredible day, an incredible day! And we got a gift bag from Disney, we're gonna open that up in just a minute, but this is, this is incredible. Disney, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share in the magic this way, and thank you to you for being a part of it. I'm gonna keep saying that, I'm gonna say it all day long, but I had an amazing day. We're headed back to Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary Resort now. What a day, what a magical day. This was truly an incredibly magical experience. I am so grateful to Disney for the opportunity <laughs> to experience this whole day, a whole day long media day. I am over Joe, we saw Riviera. We did so much, we did so much today. It was so, so much fun. Now let's take a look at the goodie bag they gave me on our way out. Wow, oh my gosh, there's amazing items. <laughs> Skyliner ornament right there. That is, that is Epic, that is so cool. Okay, so mini Skyliner ornament. We've also got, oh, that is fantastic. Look at these ears right there with the bow for the holidays. This is amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing gifts, Disney. Oh my gosh. Oh, a super fragile one right there. Take a look at the green ornament right there, sparkly with Mickey. It's a real ornament too, very, very nice. There's also an awesome Coronado Springs Resort pin right there. I love it, tells a little bit more about Coronado. It's the grand opening day pin. Oh my gosh, July 9th, 2019. I don't have it, thank you, Disney. Oh my gosh, we've been looking at it for so long. <laughs> Look at now we have one. I am I am overjoyed. I am overjoyed. I, I love this mug. Every time I saw it with the ears on it, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is an amazing gift. These are all, oh my gosh, we're not even at the bottom yet. Two gingerbread men right here. They look super delicious. Good enough to eat one for me, one for David Disney. This has meant so much to me. This has meant this has meant so much to me. Thank you so much for having us. Wow. In addition, let's not forget that awesome holiday bag right there, kind of that tote bag. Awesome. Character Couture, Riviera, the amazing food, gingerbread houses. This is a day that I will never forget. I will truly never forget. A huge thank you to you for being a part of this adventure with me. None of this, none of it would be possible without you. Thank you so much for being a part of it with me today. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.